Do you think that the universe had a beginning? I would suspect yes. How did the writers of the book of Genesis know that? The scientific method has also revealed to us that the earth was formed much later than the sun. The Old Testament account tells us that it was the other way around. So it got that bit wrong. Okay. All right. So, 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 so we're, yes, the Bible is not. So is, sometimes it, it the, gets things right, no, no, no. sometimes it gets things wrong, you know? The Bible is not, it's not a not science. To it's me. not listing out a scientific. Well, now hold on a second. You can't now move the goalposts, especially if you're still going to miss. Is it telling us how the universe scientifically formed or not? It is stating a conclusion, not a process. It's not telling you how the universe was formed. Right. It also doesn't tell us how the sun was formed, but it tells us that it was formed after the earth was. On what day uh, is it that, that God makes the sun? Day four, something around there? It obviously the can't created? be day four because the concept of day in the original Hebrew doesn't mean day. Sure, but the day four comes after day one, right? Well, oh, it's, 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 describing, it's describing, obviously, epochs or periods, yeah, yes. So, so, so actually, it's much worse, because now the sun is created much, much, much later than the Earth was. All right, let's break this down, because Alex is making a huge assumption here. Genesis chapter 1, verses 14 through 19 states, Let there be lights in the sky to separate the day from the night. The greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night, and the stars. Notice what it doesn't say. It doesn't say that this was the moment the sun was created. Instead, it says these lights were appointed to roll the day and night, meaning they became clearly visible and functional from an earthly perspective. The Earth's atmosphere wasn't always transparent. Early Earth had a thick, clouded atmosphere full of volcanic gases. The sun already existed, but its light wouldn't have been clearly visible from the surface. Around 2.4 billion years ago, the atmosphere changed, which was known as the Great Oxidation Event making the sky clearer and allowing the sun, moon, and stars to become fully visible, just as Genesis describes. Like it was already said, the Hebrew word yam, translated as day, can refer to long periods of time, not just a 24-hour day. Genesis is not a scientific step-by-step -step manual, but a structured poetic account of creation from an earth-centered perspective. Now the real question is, did Genesis predict a beginning? Ancient cultures believed the universe was eternal. Genesis uniquely stated that the universe had a beginning, aligning with what science discovered thousands of years later through the Big Bang Theory. So, no, Genesis didn't get it wrong. The real mistake was assuming that it was ever meant to be a NASA report. Science explains how, but Genesis tells us why. 